what you get in your country and what I get here is a hell of a difference. No, Plus, no, no, this I is the same. I don't want to spend uh, for a brand new camera. I would prefer to buy a second end. That will be cheaper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good well, idea. I, asked, I cannot sell it. I need it as well in Poland. You can buy uh, so many cameras in Poland? No. But this would be expensive again. Is it? Yes. But I thought probably <coughs> they are much better than in India. It is price no, wise. This no, this is the same. Imported. Same. This also this camera wasn't uh, created in manufactured in uh, in Poland. I see. So it's imported to Poland and it's imported to India. India. So what is this? The same. Which one is this? Canon. Canon. Yes. And uh, this is in Poland. How much will it be to in Indi Indian currency? Uh, Eight thousand rupees. But then we have to pay three hundred rupees as a three hundred percent as a duty, a custom duties. That makes more, more difference. A, a good which is about five thousand rupees cost about fifteen and fifteen thousand because they double the uh, custom duties. Oh. That way, that way the Polish uh, um, economy permits um, at the same price except the marginal profit of the company, manufacturer and traders, not the custom duty. Here the custom duty is 300%. If I want to buy a motorbike or a bicycle, yes. which cost about 2,000 rupees, it will be not less than 10,000 rupees if I import. Also oh, very expensive. Duty, not the goods. Duty, if I import this, I have to pay 20,000 rupees or 18,000 rupees because the government takes money. The manufacturer cost will be about 4,000 rupees. The traders benefit where the, um, the duties and the custom duties of the, the manufacturing country will come to about 1,000 rupees. The shopkeepers and the wholesaler will have their profit about 500 rupees. It all comes to about 5,000 rupees. Here it will be 15,000. 15, they thrice the price and the government takes